you guys? In today's video, we show you our favorite food in Washington, D.C. We went to all the places that were most recommended by locals and chose our very own favorites. And we're going to start by exploring Union Market and then heading over to Rasika, which is a very famous Indian restaurant, and then finishing up with Ben's Chili Bowl, which is one of the most renowned and historic places in D.C. So, enjoy! Deli, fish market, Turkish market, dim sum, bread, Korean tacos. I, mean, I don't know where to begin. I'm so hungry. There's so much. I'm so excited. I don't have enough money. Pork soup dumplings. Let's start there. is Lauban dumplings. For some reason, dumplings just sounded really, really good to us. Ooh. So they're like Xiaolong Bao. It's got like soup inside. This one is pork soup dumpling. You have to be careful not to puncture it. Hot? Uh-huh. It's not a lot of soup inside, but it's really good, super flavorful. Especially with the sauce, it's really good. Want to try one? Mm. Oh, I have this box. I'm making a lot of, a lot of soup in it. Oh, I don't know why they hit the spot so much right now. Maybe we should have a good dumpling a long time. Mm. Thank you, dumpling. Thank you, dumpling. We'll finish our dumplings and we'll see what else we can get for lunch. Um, so it's easy to say fish and chips or shepherd's pie because everyone knows that already, but what is Britain's national dish is chicken tikka masala. Uh, it started in the 1960s in Birmingham, England from, uh, from Indian and Pakistani immigrants, and they were creating a curry that was palatable for the English palate, so something not as spicy, a little bit sweeter, a little bit more gentle. And these curry houses would be open past 8 p.m., which most of the chip shops weren't selling beer late night so it ended up being embraced by British culture so much that it's their national dish. So the most British thing on the menu is actually a chicken tikka masala. Yeah, I mean we'll trust your recommendation, sure. Sweet. One tikka. Super cool talking with, uh, with the chef here actually, independently owned. Uh, he's the only one in this place that owns his own restaurant. The rest seem to be chains, but he told us. Um, a lot of people didn't know this, but the national dish of England is chicken tikka masala. Um, that was his recommendation. So we're going to smash that with a nice old speckled hen. And then go from there. Can't get more British than that, though. It's fun. English food in the capital of our country. Bring it, bring it on.
Ton spicy. It's got these um, yellow curry soaked mango and onions. A really nice touch. Big handful of cilantro. It's really good though. It's actually a really big portion for, you know, for the price point. The dumplings were good. This is like 50 times better. We made the right decision. I don't know why it's so satisfying to eat the national food and drink a beer of uh, the country that we got our independence from in the middle of our nation's capital. It's kind of kind of cool. So we honestly weren't even supposed to go to this stall. Like we were just passing through and looking and like taking pictures and stuff. And then the the chef slash owner himself like started talking to us. He seemed really passionate about his small business and what. It stands for, we know that the best food always comes from the most passionate chefs. Chefs that actually love what they do and believe in their own food. And that's what we always look for in a good place to eat. So we had to try it. Anyway, it's very good. Not very spicy, but it's very flavorful. Mm. Thumbs up. We also got this coffee from Peregrine Espresso. It's really good. It's a vanilla latte with soy milk. A little bit pricey, it's like five bucks, but it's really good. So it's a good coffee joint. Um, so we Stop. We stopped by Puddin' for some good old-fashioned Cajun food. I had to go with the etouffee because I haven't had this in years and it's so good. Um, it means smothered in French, kind of a staple of Cajun cuisine. Made with the roux, the holy trinity of vegetables, kind of like mirepoix, but peppers in place of carrots, essentially. Um, and we got with shrimp instead of the crawfish. Really excited for this. Um, it should be hot if it's not. We got some Louisiana standard. Crystals. Let's dig in. I don't know how we're eating this hot ass bowl of stew in this heat. The DC is very hot. Mm. It's like a thick, hearty, chunky stew almost over a big bed of rice. Look at that. Mm. Mm. It's got a little bite to it. Not too hot though. It's just right. It's actually really good. That has your spot. That has your spot. Season perfectly too. Where am I turn? I've never actually had etouffee before, so I'm really excited about this. Mmm. Good. Mmm. So good, I can finish this whole thing. I can just keep eating all day if the food is this good. It's nice and spicy too, so we don't actually need the hot sauce. Five stars. Mmm. I'm still hungry. I, I still want more food. On second thought, I think we will maybe slow down on the eating. <laughs> we have dinner in about two hours, so we're just gonna go ahead and eat dessert. We got uh, chocolate chip macaroons from Raven Hook Bakehouse. We heard a lot about them, so we just had to try it. Oh. I kind of wish it was chocolate filled, but it has chocolate chips inside. 
It has like a crust on it. I think it's like a sugar crust or something. And it's got like chocolate bits inside. Maybe it's just my personal preference, but I like macaroons that are nice and soft and squishy. On the inside, this is not... It is like crunchy all the way through, so... Just not for me, but it's pretty good. Maybe other people would like it. And we'll see you at dinner! Purple potato, dosa, potato, mango chutney. Chibuil. Just finished up with dinner. We didn't really do much filming in there because we wanted to spend some time with friends and you know talk story with them. But that place was amazing. The duck vindaloo was really good. It's it's very spicy. Rasika was excellent. That's probably the, that's the best Indian restaurant I've ever been to. Yes. But very upscale. A lot of suits. But it was very, very good. Um, Their sauces were very tasty as well. Kebabs were excellent. The dosa was great. Yep. Everything was very good. Everything was very good. We definitely recommend that place. I shouldn't have wore a hoodie <laughs> and a hat. <laughs> we were definitely underdressed for that kind of restaurant, but it was really, really good. And uh, the prices are actually very reasonable. Miles. Yes, very reasonable. Very good pricing. It was two twenty for five people. So about forty bucks person. So not bad at all. And we're extremely full. And we had some cocktails. So yeah, definitely recommend. On to the next. We're gonna go to Ben's Chili Bowl for some half smoke. I have no idea what that is, but Carrie really wants it. He's very excited about it. So we'll see you there. Ben's Chili Bowl. We got two spicy chili, half smokes, fries, two drinks, 34 bucks. The sauce is super good. What is it called? Half smoke. It's almost like a spicy kielbasa. Chili is really good. Onions and mustard on it. Very good. Super simple. Actually spicy too. Best chili dog I've ever had. <laughs> Good? That's the long day's walk of hunger right there. And that's a wrap. 